Hi, welcome to my channel and today I thought I'd go through all my favourite series. This might be a long video so buckle down, get a cup of tea and let's just get started. So I'm not going to mention the obvious one Harry Potter because that's a bit obvious. I'm just going to go straight in and mention other series. First one I'm going to mention is my current ultimate favourite and that's A Court of Thorns and Roses. So the first book is A Court of Thorns and Roses, second is A Court of Mist and Fury and the final book is A Court of Wings and Ruin. Now I have not been addicted to a series like this since I read Harry Potter. This is how good this series was to me. I mainly just love this book so much because of the characters. The characters are amazing. Now if you don't know, the series follows Fairy and in the first book she gets taken prisoner by Tamlin, the leader of the Spring Court, because she accidentally killed one of his soldiers when they were disguised as a wolf. And basically they find out that there's this war going on in the Fae world and she needs to try and bring down this mad ruler. In a court of Mist and Fury, a uh, fairy ends up getting taken by Rhys, who is the leader of the night court, in kind of like a Hades Persephone kind of way. But she ends up finding out that Rhys means a lot more to her than she thinks. And then a court of Wings and Ruin is like the whole big conclusion. The impending war finally happens, people are lost things happen and it is just amazing. Now that is just a very very quick roundup because I can just do a whole video on this series if I wanted. So yeah I do recommend it if you do like your fantasies, your fears, your magic and really really good characters as well. So I would totally recommend this series. The next series I'm going to mention is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Now this includes Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. This is basically a duology. Now Six of Crows follows kind of like a gang of misfits and they are tasked with the impossible mission of breaking someone out of an impossible jail and it all follows from that. It's really good, you've got this whole band of misfits that you just come to love and you want to protect them at all costs. It is so good and Crooked Kingdom basically follows straight on from Six of Crows which means it's a, such a fast pace and it's just so good. I laughed, I cried, you get ships that happen pairings that you just did not expect and it is amazing. By the way, as you can probably tell, I am only trying to do quick reviews because like I said with Court of Thorns and Roses, I can just go on and on about this and I already know this is going to be such a long video. But if you do want to know more about the series I'm mentioning, just ask and I can just do whole videos on them if you'd prefer it that way. So another series I'm going to mention are the Monsters of Verita series by V.E. Schwab and this is another duology and this is this Savage Song and Our Dark Duet. Now what's so good about this series is that it's a YA series where the girl and boy do not fall in love, which is amazing. And it's around such a great concept as well. V. E. Schwab has created this world where different sins create different monsters. So you've got the smaller sins create the Corsi and those like shadow dwelling monsters. Murders, they can create the Malachi and they're a bit like vampires. And then huge murders, you know, like mass murders, bombing, stuff like that, they create the Sunai. And what's also good about this is, as you can tell by the titles, this savage song and our dark duet, it's also based around music. So the Sunai, they feed on the souls of sinners, and they do this by creating music and playing music. So August, the main Sunai in this, he's got a violin, and he plays his violin. And the thing is about August is that he doesn't want to be a monster. He wants to be human. And so he's kind of trying to fight against it. He doesn't want to feed as much. That can lead to him kind of breaking out and just killing everyone instantly. Then you also have Kate Harker, who is the daughter of the leader of the safe city. And she basically wants to prove to her father that she is a monster, that she can kill people, she can control people the Malachi and she basically wants to prove to her father that she can do that and I think it's all really good working out like is a monster a monster or can humans be monsters or can monsters be good and I just think this is such a great series and the ending in Attack Duet oh my god I, I 
did not expect it but at the same time I thought it was so so good I think this is a series that everyone has to read I think it's probably the best series I've read so far so the next series is the Cormoran Strike novels by Robert Galbraith or aka JK Rowling now these include the Cuckoo's Calling, the Silkworm and Career of Evil and there's also a fourth novel going coming out but I can't remember the name of it she's only just released it a few months ago but I can't remember the name but I can't wait for the novel so like many people I probably only picked up the Cuckoo's Calling because I realised it was JK Rowling but I'm so glad I did this introduced me to the crime genre and now I just love crime and thrillers. This series basically follows Cormoran Strike, who is a private detective. He is also a war veteran and an amputee, which I think is very good for a main character. And basically this one follows the death of a model who is thought to have committed suicide, but obviously it's not. Then you have the silkworm which follows an author who is found dead and the way he's found is depicted from his own novel so people are trying to work out what's happened there this one is a bit graphic the way he's found I, I, it was a bit disgusting so just be aware of that when you read this one and then career of evil is probably the worst one out of the three i didn't really like it but this focuses more on common strikes past and he is the son of a famous rock star his mother overdosed i think it was and this focuses on people from his past because they sent his personal assistant robin a leg and it's all a bit like that but i do definitely re recommend this series it's great if you're looking for something new um you already know the author jk rowling so if you're wanting to maybe get into some adult fiction this would be perfect for you because you already know what J.K. Rowling's writing's like and I would hope you enjoy these. Also, I don't see these mentioned on booktube enough. These are really, really, really good novels. And also, The Cuckoo's Calling is going to be made into a TV series. I think they're filming already and I think it's meant to be on TV at the end of the year, which I cannot wait. Next one is the Twisted Tale series by Liz Braswell and these are done by Disney and this includes A Whole New World and Once Upon a Dream. These are basically famous Disney stories but with one thing changed. So A Whole New World is if Jafar gets the lamb instead of Aladdin and Once Upon a Dream is basically if the prince falls asleep when he kisses Aurora so that nobody wakes up. And basically both these are really good. Some people don't like them, especially this one, as it basically follows Aladdin step by step in the beginning. But I liked that because it shows that basically everything just changes when Jafar gets lab and he does become quite mad. Whereas this one I liked because it's all set in a dream world that Maleficent's made. Basically, if Aurora's asleep for about 24 hours, Maleficent wins and she gets to trap Aurora in this dream world and the thing is about this Aurora is slowly working out that Maleficent isn't this amazing person she's created in the dream world that Maleficent is a bad person and she's slowly figuring that out and I do really like that about this series there is also Beauty and the Beast one but I just haven't got that yet and I can't wait to give that a go next one is a series I mention a lot and that's the Wicked series the life and times of the Wicked Witch of the West so this includes Wicked, Son of a Witch, Lion Amongst Men and Out of Oz I'm going to pop these down because they are very heavy so if you've seen the musical Wicked you kind of know what this is about but if you like the musical I would say read the books the book has so many added extras and the musical is so different but if you don't know, uh, this basically follows Alphaba when she's at uni and when she meets Glinda. Glinda is basically the, clear, this popular woman who loves to bully Alphaba because of her green skin. But then they do become friends, they do get to know each other, then they meet the wizard and he basically creates Alphaba as a scapegoat. So this is basically all about are people born wicked or just wickedness get thrust upon them which is probably one of my favourite quotes. Son of a Witch as you can probably guess uh, it turns out there's this boy and they don't know whether he's Alphabet and Fiero's son. Lion Amongst Men is probably the worst one in the series. It follows the cowardly lion and he is basically talking to a nun who looked after the wicked witch and her son and they're kind of recounting the tales of the lion. I do think this one is the worst of the book. 
but it also does have some pretty important information in it. The last one is Out of Oz and that is basically the last in the story and you basically see Glinda when she's older and the ending, oh, everyone just talks about the ending, I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil it, but everyone's thinking, who is that, who is that? Basically Glinda's in prison and the last page, we don't know whether it's her dying, but it looks like Elphaba opens the door, but of course she's been melted back in Oz by Dorothy. So people are like, Has, is Elphaba alive? Or is uh, Glinda dead in, like, in heaven? So I, I just think I might reread this series because I loved it so much, but yeah definitely give this a go. So now we are on to the last two, so don't worry this video is almost over. So I want to mention The Maze Runner by James Thashner. So this is The Maze Runner, The Scorched Trials and The Death Cure and I loved this. I basically got to this series in a couple of days. It was that good. Um, basically The Maze Runner follows Thomas and he gets um, lifted into this weird maze full of boys and then one day a girl gets sent to the maze saying she's the last and they have to figure out what's going on. The Scottish Trials basically picks up from that. They realise the people who rescued them aren't what they seem. So they have to run out into this world that has these weird kind of zombie kite people because there's been like a solar flare, the world's no longer as it is. And then you've got the Death Cure which is the final book and oh my lord. This, I am seriously waiting for this film to come out because the main story was amazing, Scottish Charles wasn't too good but I hope they do the death card justice because this is probably my favourite one out of the whole series I just had so many emotions reading this book, I just could not cope but yeah, this series, probably one of my favourites and of course, the one series I have to mention are The Hunger Games by Susan Collins I don't know why I've got that one first, it should be this one so this one includes The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay so these are probably quite famous, I think you should all know what these are about now because the films were quite, hate to say, revolutionary. Uh, these basically follow Katniss and she lives in kind of like a dystopian world where it's run by the capital and every year they have these Hunger Games because there was a revolution and the ruling class kind of takes it out on their children but every year someone from the 13 districts will be sent into these games and only one comes out alive. But of course Katniss goes in and it all turns on its head. Now in Catching Fire you see Katniss going to the arena again because now I think it's the 75th anniversary and they're basically wanting to get rid of Katniss because she messed everything up. And then you have the Mockingjay which is basically the symbol of the rebellion and this is where everything goes to pot. This is where everyone's rebelling trying to get rid of President Snow and it is just amazing. So yeah, that's it for this video. It's looking at 17 minutes long, so I better shut up soon. But I thought I'd just introduce you to my favourite series. And maybe if you can recommend some as well, because I am wanting to read more series. I know I've got one of last to read, the Lunar Chronicles. I need to finish the Queen of the Tailing and just stuff like that. So if you want to co comment down below and recommend some, that would be great. Or uh, as usual, you can just like this video or subscribe to the channel and I will link all my social media below. So I will see you later with a new video. Bye!